Hi guys, today I want to talk about one of the products that are found most commonly in black hair care products that has the most taboo against it and that is mineral oil. Mineral oil can be found in many black relaxed hair care products and natural hair care products. Um, I guarantee you if you go to a black hair supply store and look at the back of you know some of the more well-known brands such as dark and lovely um cream of nature even ors they will have a lot of products containing mineral oil and the purpose of this video is to examine you know what is mineral oil and why do so many people who are undertaking a hair journey tend to stay away from mineral, mineral oil and have a sort of an opinion that mineral oil is not good in their hair care products and not good for their hair so stay tuned Mineral oil is actually a byproduct of petroleum, um, petroleum being petroleum jelly, i.e. Vaseline. And petroleum, you find, is another nasty hair care product that people in hair journeys tend to avoid. Um, so mineral oil is just <clears throat> basically a byproduct of the crackling process of petroleum. Mineral oil is a great lubricant, um, uh, which also means that it can be a great detangler. Um, you know, when you're looking for to detangle your hair, you need something that has great slip. Um, often people use your conditioner, um, but essentially the slip is the, the lubrication that allows the comb to glide through your hair nicely so you can really detangle. And mineral oil is a great lubricant, um, you know, so you may find it in some detangling products and you may commonly find it in um, conditioners and deep conditioners um, for the effect of being a great lubrication, lubrication source. Mineral oil is also a great barrier to the hair as mineral oil tends to coat the hair. This attribute you'll find many people have a problem with in terms of using mineral oil. Because essentially what mineral oil does is once you apply it to your hair, it stops moisture from leaving your hair so you know it's a great so for example when you moisturize your hair and then we tend to seal with a carrier oil you know the whole point of us sealing with a carrier oil is to act as sort of a barrier over our hair <clears throat> um so just you know to prevent the loss of moisture um and mineral oil essentially does the same thing that the oil does however mineral oil does it in a lot more harsher form in terms of although it's great at stopping the moisture from leaving our hair on the other side it doesn't allow anything else to penetrate our hair from the outside. So for example, you know, when you've used an humectant, <clears throat> it could prevent, you know, that humectant taking the moisture from the air because you've got that mineral oil just sitting and coating your hair and, you know, basically being like, no, nothing's coming in your hair. Um, then for example, use a moisturizer that's high in mineral oil. And then you try and apply some more moisture after that, you still got that mineral, initial mineral oil sitting on your hair and coating your hair and not really allowing anything else to penetrate. So there's two ways of looking at mineral oil really. If you, you know, if you're the sort of person you might want to just, you know, moisturize your hair um, and then apply something with heavy mineral oils to prevent moisture from leaving and you want to, you know, cornrow your hair or plait your hair and leave it alone and then you know, you'll take your hair out and wash it and essentially you just wash out that mineral oil. Mineral oil could be really, really good for you in the fact that it will stop moisture. Not necessarily stop, but it will really act as a great barrier preventing moisture from leaving your hair while you've got your hair in that protective corner or braids or plaits, whatever you want to call it, style. On the flip side, if you're the sort of person where, you know, you maybe flat iron your hair every day, not recommending it, or, you know, you're really into your hair and you're really in got your hands in your hair every day and etc and you're always applying all these things you know essentially once you put that mineral oil on your hair there is no point applying anything else because it's going to have a very difficult time penetrating that hair shaft so you know mineral oil can work to your advantage or disadvantage depending on what sort of person you are you know with your hair and mineral oil also helps in minimizing frizz which not a lot of people might know and the way it does that is because as i said previously you know it prevents that moisture from leaving the outside from sorry the moisture from the air penetrating your hair they're minimizing frizz 
Um, because what you find is when the moisture does enter your hair, there can be a bit of frizz as a result of that. But you know, the use of mineral oil basically prevents that, so you're going to find your frizz levels in your hair is going to be minimized quite a lot. So if you're someone that suffers with frizz, you know, mineral oil might be to your benefit. And as I said before, you know, mineral oil aids moisture and, and stops the moisture from your hair leaving the environment. <clears throat> the not so great benefits of mineral oil, or another reason why some people don't like to use mineral oil, is the fact that it has no moisturising qualities whatsoever. And all it does is coat and sit on your hair. So really adding mineral oil doesn't add anything to your hair. It's not adding any moisture. It's not adding any protein. It's not preventing anything other than moisture from getting in and moisture from leaving. So, you know, it's just starting to sort of sit there and play security guard over your hair, but it's not actually adding anything to it. Um, so a good way to look at mineral oil in that context is that it's the opposite from and the hermectin. It's opposite from glycerin and from honey and any other hermectin in the fact that, you know, it will stop moisture from the outside getting into your hair, whereas glycerin and, and honey will do the opposite and will take the moisture from the air so you know really think about if you are going to use a mineral a high mineral based product mineral oil based product uh, really think about what other products you're using because you know if you're using something really saturated in honey or glycerin and then you know go and put mineral oil in your hair you know really think about it and sit there and think I've done you know this and then done something completely opposite you know it doesn't make any sense so if you are going to use mineral oil just think about you know its purpose and, and why you're using it so my verdict of mineral oil is personally i don't really like to use mineral oil in my hair i do tend to stay away from products that contain mineral oil in particular moisturizers and anything that's going to stay in my hair for quite a long time because i really do not need that mineral oil in my hair for a long time you know it's not doing anything great for my hair so um, if I do something that has mineral oil it will be rinsed out instantly so for example the odd deep conditioner might contain mineral oil that's fine I'm gonna rinse that out um, I think that's about it I've only really used it in um, a deep conditioner so I personally have no space in my regimen for mineral oil and I personally don't like it for me personally I think if you are gonna use products that contain mineral oil Again, really think about why you're using it and understand what mineral oil is doing. Mineral oil is preventing moisture from entering your hair after the point you've put it on. Um, but again, it will safeguard the moisture you've already put in. So again, if you're using mineral oil, really think about why you're using it and really understand what it's doing for your hair. And I'd also say check how high up the ingredients list <coughs> mineral oil is in a product. Um, personally, for me, if it's one of the top five, there's a lot of mineral oil in that product, so you know, really consider whether you want to use it. Whereas if it's the last ingredient, you know, its effect might its effects might be minimal, so you know, it may not be that detrimental for it to be in the ingredient list. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this review helpful. Um, if you do use mineral oil in your regimen or if it's in some of your favorite products, um, please do comment and say you know how you find those products and whether you feel like mineral oil is adding any benefits or not so great benefits to your hair so yeah thanks for watching guys